Man, I tell you, I can't even imagine playing Solo Wreck. That sounds like a complete nightmare out there. I play Squads Rex damn near every day, and we're looking at these players like, ain't no way you learned how to play IRL basketball. Just impossible. The logic that these folks have in Squads Rec and the things that I see just continue to blow my mind. And I imagine in Solo Rec, that's just extremely amplified. You guys are probably experiencing like the goofiest of the goofy stuff in that solo wreck. So the good homie Vader dude dropped the guide on who to avoid in solo wreck. We finna get into all the details. Y'all be sure to drop a like and drop a sub if you can. You guys can help us get one step closer to 100K subscribers. A huge goal for us here on the channel. But as you guys know, I don't like to waste your time. So let's get right into it. One of the first things that I want to reference is this post from Vader dude offering you guys a guide on who to avoid in the rec centers. Some of you may fall under one of these categories. And if any of these bullet points match one of the players you have run with, share your thoughts in the comment section below and let us know what you experienced. Vader Dude says, after reaching level 40 the past two seasons through solo rec, this is what he's come to know so far. The first bullet point addressing who you should avoid in the rec says all three point shot hunters. If you run into a three point shot hunter, Hunter in solo rec. If he's in solo rec, he's not used to running with a team. As most three point shot hunters, they'll want a consistent team so they can set up their offense, running the pick and roll type of thing. You normally want chemistry when you have a build like this out there. The next bullet point is anybody with Don the Don, etc., in their name. I personally run with the good homie, All City Don Dada. Do you guys know of any players that have Don or the Don in their gamer tag and they sold you in solo rec? Sound off in the comments. The next one says, anybody with a name that references a rapper? <laughs> I ain't gonna front, that one was funny. The next one says, anybody with a name that has YT or TTV? And keep in mind, the reason why he's saying this is because if they're in solo rec, then they probably don't necessarily have the following behind them. And more than likely, these folks are trying to be seen and they're trying to show out when they are seen. The next one is solo rec players with a drippy face scan. Oh Lord, gone are the days that we have to worry about these drippy face scans. Everybody and their mama had one of those, but now not so much and if you guys run into a player in solo wreck with a drippy face scan mm, you got more problems than you know if you guys go into solo wreck and find players with a fully blacked out neck tattoo or a turtleneck as we like to refer it to that's probably another player that likes to look sweaty and spent a ton of time trying to look the part but can't play the part the next one says bigs that sit in the paint and say I'm open man, pass me the mother effing ball. Then proceed to take 70% contested close shots every time they get in, then they blame 2K. Those guys, they're just the absolute worst, man. They just don't seem to understand the mechanics of the game. And they think, hey, I put this attribute, this standing dunk up, I should be able to dunk the rock when I'm in the paint. Unfortunately, 2K often disagrees with that thought process. The next one is bigs that don't set screens. Oh my God, I can't even imagine. Unless you got an ISO build, which most players nowadays at the one don't necessarily have ISO type of builds. And it's really unfortunate that we have bigs out there that don't understand how to play their part. They'll leave that 6-1 point guard with only shooting attributes on an island out there with a the pure lockdown. I run squads rec almost every single day. And these are squads that set up and I see them do this often. The next bullet point says anybody who dribbles for 10 seconds of the shot clock. Big facts, Vader, dude. Oh, man. Man, you dribbling for 10 seconds out the shot clock and then go hit your homie with a grenade? Forget about it, man. Stay away from those dudes. The next one says anybody with a Halloween face mask. Again, I think uh, the good homie All City Don makes up two bullet points in this list as Don loves his Halloween face mask, but he's definitely not one of these rookie or random solo wreck type of dudes. All City Don Dada is definitely an exception. And this next bullet point is kind of funny. It says anybody with a name that mentions themselves the great fill in the blank or blank too smooth or next level fill in the blank. These are players who would more than likely pat themselves on the back and they're not self-aware so they're gonna be selling the bag out there and the last bullet point says anybody who has an open mic from loading 
they will complain the entire game. I thought this post was hella funny. A lot of it was facts. If you guys would like to add or deduct from this list, share it in the comment section below. I may consider making another list down the line. Hopefully this comprehensive solo rec guide will help you guys have a better experience when you get on 2K the next time. If you guys are tired of running with randoms and you're looking for players to run with on NBA 2K, come on out and join our Discord. We'd love to have you. The link for Discord will be in the description below. I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in and y'all be sure to keep it locked right here at all city live tv because we got a bunch more nba 2k24 news information and updates coming your way drop a like and drop a sub on your way out i'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream easy y'all